Welcome to a short demonstration of the cluster clean label prototype. At the beginning of the application the individual ID of the user must be entered. Then the labeling process is started by clicking on start labeling. In the so-called overview screen the user sees a representation of the entire data set. The NIST data set was used here as an example. The graph shows the projection of the data set, which was achieved by a combination of principal component analysis and TSNE projection. The coloring of the individual points represents the result of the previously applied HBSCAN algorithm. The shown clusters can now be selected via the drop-down menu. By clicking on Submit, the selection is confirmed and the cleaning process is started. Now the autoencoder is trained and the reconstructed images are generated. Then the reconstruction error between the original data and the output of the autoencoder is calculated for each instance. Based on this, instances which should be checked by the user can be identified. On the right side, the 100 instances with the largest reconstruction error are now displayed. In this example it becomes clear that at the beginning it is difficult to recognize which class is the most common in this cluster. In these cases it is useful to get an idea of the cluster by using the graph on the left side. Afterwards, a threshold value can be defined via the graph and thus a preselection can take place. By clicking on Keep Instances, all instances above the threshold value are removed from the cluster and the autoencoder is retrained with the subset of data. As you can now see in the right area, the cluster is already much purer. If only single instances are to be removed from the cluster, this is possible by direct selection. The autoencoder will be trained again after this step and new instances will be displayed. If the user is satisfied with the purity of the cluster, he can save the clean cluster by clicking on Save Cluster. After the satisfactory purity has been achieved in each cluster, labels can be issued on the basis of the cleaned cluster. For this purpose, five instances are displayed for each cluster, which enable the assignment of the label. The input can then be confirmed by clicking on Submit. We hope you enjoyed watching the video, and the approach which is published under the same title became clearer to you. We welcome your comments and feedback of any kind.